guys youtube time we are back in fitness culture it's a nice quiet day we actually have the music turned off so we can film it's always weird working out in the gym with no music but today we're actually on that heat program so if you guys saw my last video new program on the fitness culture app all designed to improve hypertrophy endurance athletic training and then training holistically you're going to see that actually at the beginning here holistically means hey we're going to work on mobility and range of motion before we actually get into strengthening stuff so the first part of my workout 10, 15 minutes is always a proper warm-up. So Monday is a upper body strength training day with a run. Then we have a lower body push. Today's pull, tomorrow back to leg. For a pull day, you're gonna see back, some biceps, rear delt, traps. And then we're also gonna see a little finisher because every single one of these workouts that we do, we like to finish with something. The finisher movements on these days are gonna really consist of something that you would do to just totally burn out the body parts we're working. I, I hate to even bring this up. We have six, three, 100 meter runs. Go out to a football field, do it on a track, do it on a treadmill. We're gonna jump into it right now, warm up time. It's not in the program, but I always do more of an active warm up, followed by some mobility, even for my hips on these days. Because we are gonna be running, I always do some form of hip mobility because otherwise my back gets jacked. I'm listening to see if we can't pop this SI joint. That's what I try to do every single day. Oh, there it went. You guys are gonna have to get closer. Oh, do you hear it? You got it? We could do a whole video on mobility, guys. I can't tell you how important it is that you guys look at nagging body parts. We all have them. Come check this out too. So tibialis here, this muscle, you see this? Watch, like what is, what the frick is that thing? Like it, when I run more, it pops out. I should know what those little muscles in your ankles are, but tibialis is it's not quite that one. All right, that's just me going through my hip stuff. Now it's actually my upper body routine to get me ready for my back day. Last thing I always like to do, a little hang session. I like to go for at least a minute and just move my body. Serratus will be intact, obviously. Good way to warm up the core, but also lats grip. So there's actually been a study, where there's a correlation between strong grip and then life longevity. So. I always like to work a little grip strength. Also helps out just lats before we get going. All right, don't do that if you have unhealthy shoulders. It'll definitely let you know real quick what your shoulder health's looking like. Time to jump into the workout, pinlay rows. This is actually one of my favorite rowing movements. And this is someone that has had back injuries in the past. Love a good pinlay row because it allows us to set up from the floor each and every time. Kind of in this position is no man's land and that's when people start kind of rounding backs, keeping the back nice and straight, knees are bent. I'm rowing to my sternum as fast as I can. That bar comes back down. We got five sets of three reps, working heavier and heavier. We're going 60 seconds rest in between here. So we're just letting, letting that weight down pretty quick. That's where a lot of times if I'm gonna injure my back, it's getting sloppy on that eccentric. Here, we're staying nice and tight with the core, but I wanna be able to feel that all of these core muscles with that internal belt, like this is what keeps your lower back healthy, is being able to brace yourself in positions like this. So CNS, we're firing that up. Woo, all right, pinlay rows in the books. Next up, we got a little superset action. Up next, 12, 10, eight. That's the reps we have. So we get three sets. If you don't have any lower back issues, you can just do them standing if you want. I'm gonna do them with a supported incline. So we got 12 reps. The big thing here is a four second eccentric. I told you that eccentric was coming, that time under tempo. So we're here. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Definitely gonna need a, a weight lighter than what you would normally do for 12 reps because of that time under tension. Straight into a face pull. First set, 15 reps. I like to kneel just to get a better angle, but from here, pronated grip, trying to pull to my forehead, keeping elbows nice and high. Two minutes of rest on these, so if you need to, get water. There's no water. It's upstairs, I got two minutes. Did I not bring my Stanley down? If you guys don't know what a Stanley mug is, you've never been to Utah. Women coordinate their outfits with their Stanley mugs. 
Ain't got time for that. Oh, uh, see, look, it's running. I mean, again, like morning weight. I got shoes on too, but 214. Morgan and I are having our, our US wedding in about three weeks. And if I'm gonna fit into my tux, I need to be like 210 morning weight. Did you see where uh, men's physique guys, do you see the new height to weight standard? Men's physique category for the pro division changed up their height to weight. Well, they actually established it because they never established it. I could be men's physique 224 on stage. It's a big men's physique dude. If I stepped on stage at 224 at 4%, off season I'm 255. That's not a mince physique guy. Heaviest I ever was on stage, 212. So I'd have to get 12 pounds of muscle, I could do. At that stage, I might as well just do classic. <laughs> Muscular endurance is shit. Onto a wide grip. You can do these, this is awesome because obviously I love some hammer strength plate loaded or if you don't have the plate loaded, just jump into a seated cable. We're gonna go as wide as possible on this. Try to keep the el elbows flared out. The more closer in we're going, we're hitting a little bit more of that lower lat. As we keep it high, we're hitting more of that upper back. So just like all of our movements, but the first one today, this 12, 10, eight, four count eccentric. Super setting this with a rope pullover. What we're really targeting here, I like to keep my butt back, get that stretch. As the rope comes down, the arm stays straight, and my chest comes up. Putting in work today. Putting in work. It's been a minute, boys and girls, and whatever your pronoun is. All right, now we got dessert. We ate dinner, now it's time for dessert. What I mean by dessert is we got some arms, and then we got a finisher. We got hammer curls, T raises, and then we got. Uh, slant curls with a Y raise. This endurance on this program isn't just the cardio, isn't just the running portion. Muscular endurance can get you uh, definitely feeling like you might need to throw up. Good news is we only got 10 reps, 10, eight, six. Tempo is only gonna be two seconds on the way down. So up, one, two. 12 reps on the bent over T raise. Biggest thing here, we don't want the arms here. We don't want the arms here. Nice and straight, a T. We're not looking like a like a W or an M. T. Oh, that was like YMCA right there. Ah. My wife's just looking. First thing I see, my wife posting in a hot bikini. I was like, oh my gosh, who's that? I better not let my wife see. Lo and behold, it is my wife. You got it, girl. This sets for you. Eyes up here. That was a little bit. You can barely touch my shoulders, which means uh, it's not quite a good enough arm pump. Oh man, that's heavy. Biggest thing on these, we gotta set that scapula in place. We don't wanna be pulling from here. Retract, then up. By now you probably are wanting to forget about the two seconds eccentric we have on these. Don't. You've come this far. Just keep going. Anyone can go 70%. Go 100. Maybe even slow it down another second. Just love that pain. Sometimes I think I should do all my workouts for YouTube. I just lift better with you guys. You guys are the best lifting partners anyone could ask for. Always there supporting me. Never leaving any kind of mean comments. Always leaving a comment when you come and watch this video. So you guys are the best. Appreciate it. Take three minutes and meet me at the rack. We got a burnout. We got ourselves a Tabata. Tabata, Tabata. I think that's Italian, man. Pretty sure that's Cuban. Say hello to my little friend. Pretty sure that's a really good Cuban accent. Tabata, not to be confused with the delicious Italian bread, ciabatta. What we're gonna be doing is setting up inverted row and grabbing yourselves a pair of dumbbells that you can perform a Zotamin curl with. So nice and light, because we got 20 seconds on 10 seconds rest. I'm gonna get the timer out. We're gonna set this for four minutes. Three, two, one. Ciabatta. And we're back up. Oh, it's a tasty ciabatta. That's not best. Oh. 
And look at that. Four minutes on the clock, exactly. Babe, you want a freaking ciabatta bicep sandwich? Uh, Bite it. Uh, Bite this one. Uh, uh, you're a weirdo. I was looking at your picture. I got the freaking biggest stiff bicep on while I was looking at it. I'm just saying, I pumped so much blood to your picture onto my bicep, into my biceps. You guys were there. We all appreciate that I am a marketing genius. <laughs> Shout out to my wife. You guys can now go through Instagram for Apollo and Sage. Straight off the Instagram post we post. What about, uh, what like about? Like every other brand did it about three years ago, but <laughs> I got them in the end. I just heard there's this thing called TikTok and we can also hopefully do that here soon. We don't have a TikTok yet, do we? You no, do. We don't have TikTok. No. Are you hungry? Yeah, I haven't eaten nothing. I got a ciabatta sandwich right there. What the f that's yeah. what, that's what freaking pa! That's what a pump smells like, babe. I can bite your nipple off. Honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. Bye. Okay, I just got six 300 meter runs to do. So I already kind of feel like I'm gonna throw up from that, but like, can we talk about how juicy of an arm pump that is? Let's actually take a thumbnail right now. Pause this video for a thumbnail. Go. We're back. We got that thumbnail. In fact, it looks like this. It's actually on the video that you guys clicked on too, so that's awesome. Pretty much this is the end of the video. Got a good pump. I feel like um, body composition wise, I have to eat more on this program if I'm to maintain my body weight because of the running. Today, there's no hiding from those 300 meters. It's gonna suck. So this is the end of the video unless you guys wanna see me run in slow motion, which listen guys, I appreciate you being back on the channel. We've been doing this for a long time, like 10 years. We've had ups and downs. <sighs> All I can say is shit, that's life. All you gotta do is jump on the treadmill, keep on running, keep on moving, L-I-V-I-N, keep living. Living, man, L-I-V-I-N. Let's, uh, let's jump on the treadmill. We'll see you guys, slow motion Steve, in three, two, one.